Welcome to this video on how to create a button bar for your Java program. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the sort of button bar we have up the top here. You'll see that there are four buttons and each has its own little picture that's called an icon. The way to get those icons is to go into your favorite search engine and type in free icons. You'll then find that there are hundreds of sites that allow you to download these sorts of images for free. Now sometimes you have to use a bit of Photoshop or GIMP, whichever your preferred graphics editing package is, to ensure that these are now 24 by 24 pixels wide. That's the standard image size for a button in Java. Let me show you what happens when you click a button. If I click the button with a pencil on it, I get this code. The first thing you need is the toolbar itself. You can create that by J toolbar toolbar. Then you need each of the buttons. In this case I've got four buttons notepad, browser, email and exit. You just use J button, notepad, browser, email and exit to create the buttons themselves. Having done that you can instantiate the buttons. So in this line I'm going to instantiate the notepad button and I'm going to add an image from my images directory called edit.gif. Edit.gif is that image that's 24 by 24 with a piece of paper and a pencil on it. Having created the button I'm now going to add its action listener in exactly the same way as I would for any other J button. Finally I'm going to add notepad to the toolbar and I repeat this for each of the four buttons in my program. So I'd have these three lines of code repeated again for browser, email and exit. Having done that I can now add the toolbar to the frame. In my case I'm using a border layout and I've used border layout north as the place for the toolbar to go and that's a pretty standard system too. Now we get down to the action performed method. The action performed method allows me to check which button has been pressed. If e.getSource is equal to notepad, then I want to do some tasks, whatever it is that I want the notepad button to do. That's the subject of the next video on the desktop class. So now I have everything I need to make my button bar completely functional. But there is one other thing you should know. It's not just buttons that can be added to the toolbar. You can add drop-down lists, text boxes and all sorts of other things if that's what your program requires. 